everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Today from Logitech, I've got two keyboards to look at. Now looking at the boxes here, you might say, well, it looks like the exact same keyboard. Why do you have two of them? Well, they are essentially the same keyboard, but the difference is in the switches. This one here, uh, these are both the G513 Carbon Series keyboards, but this one has the Romer G Tactile switches, and this one has the Romer G Linear switches. So what you're going to notice between the two is one is going to have a smooth, even, consistent push when you push down each key. The other one's going to have more of a classic click to it, like a regular mechanical keyboard, uh, mechanical switch would be. You build up a little pressure and then you feel it release. Uh, so they, they will have a different feel to them. And again, a lot of that's just subjectivity, whichever one you like or you're more comfortable with. So we'll get these out of the box here and uh, check out some of the cool features here. You can configure through the software, uh, the uh, lighting. These are RGB keyboards, so you can uh, configure each individual key with a different color if you want. That's something you couldn't do a few years ago, but that's all available now. So uh, since these are both essentially the same keyboard, I'm really just going to pull one out of the box and take a look at it. Then when we do the testing, uh, we'll look at both of them. Okay, so let's get the main box here open and see what we have inside. You can see it's packed nicely and neatly uh, in the box. Nice plastic uh, protection there, and it's got some weight to it. This thing is not a cheap, uh, lightweight plastic keyboard. So we have the cable system that is in this box. We've got some other goodies in here. Looks like some extra keys. And then the main keyboard itself and a pad there. Sort of like an armrest or handrest pad. And then you can get the bag open here. All right, now I'm going to have to zoom in here to get a little better shot. All right, we got the keyboard here in front of you, so let's talk about some of the physical features. First of all, I want to talk about the, the top plate here. This is a 5052 uh, aluminum magnesium alloy. It has a brushed finish, and this one is in black. Uh, it's a small keyboard. It doesn't take up any more real estate than what the keys themselves require. And it is also a very heavy keyboard. It's got some weight to it. When you set it down on the table, uh, it's not going to move around very much. And the other reason for that are these nice rubber pads. We have six of them, two at the corners and then uh, two at the center and the other two back here. The other thing I really like are these feet. These are very robust, very substantial feet. That's a pet peeve of mine. I've had many keyboards over the years and these things always seem to be flimsy and fall off. Well, that's not the case here with Logitech. These things are quite beefy and I like them. And the other thing here, uh, let's see, we've got a USB 2.0 uh, pass-through port right there uh, at the upper right of the keyboard as you're sitting in front of it. And we also have a quarter 20 tapped hole there that you can mount like a uh, webcam or another accessory there if you like. We'll pop these feet back out. Cables here, we do have two of them. Uh, they are labeled here, or actually marked so that this one has a little keyboard symbol on it. I don't know if you can see very well there. So this is for the keyboard, and this is if you decide to use the pass-through. This one here has the USB symbol for the pass-through. Uh, pass-through port on the keyboard, if you want to use it. Now, another cool thing here. <clears throat> we have these keycaps that come with it. You can shine the light through it there. You can see that one is the S. And the purpose of these, these have a distinct uh, contour there that is very different than a regular key. And in gaming, you have certain keys that are commonly used and we want to make sure that we can find them very quickly and very rapidly. So, for example, I've already popped this one here. This is the A key, but it comes with this little tool that you use to pop the key off, or the key cap off there. And this one here has uh, got the contour on it. I already changed that one. We'll go ahead and put the standard A right back on there. Get that lined up. And then you push down, and there you go. Your key is back in position. Now, let's talk about the difference here between the two keyboards. So here we have both of the keyboards. If you look at them, they appear the same, and that's because they are. Physically, the layout, everything is the same between these two keyboards. The only difference is the two different type of switches. This one here is the linear, and it has a very smooth... Um, stroke when you push it it's the same same consistent 
feel all the way down. This one here, we have the little detent there, or the tactile push, the tactile bump. It is noticeable, but it is still very subtle. So it comes down to what you really feel like um, you like. Now, as far as playability when you're gaming, uh, I don't think either one would necessarily be better than the other. Again, it comes down to what you feel comfortable with. So when you plug the keyboard in, one of the things you can do right away is, uh, you see the colors here, but you hit the function key and then your F5 and you can toggle through some of the different functions and features here. So I see you can see here as I hit each key, we get a little bit of a burst of color. And we have several different functions here. And we have a slow breathing. And we have a lot of different things going on here. We can control the intensity, if you like. That's a nice effect there. And these are the canned effects that just come with the keyboard by itself, without the Logitech software. Now, if you really want to go along for a fun ride, you download the Logitech uh, gaming software, which I have here. And we can see. Now I use this software with my old G19S keyboard and my G600 mouse, so I'm a little familiar with it here. Uh, after you download it, it's best to restart the computer. Uh, then you have your keyboard that is recognized uh, by the software. And once you have that, then you can get into it and play around. So there's the home. This is your, uh, you can select your profiles. And here is where you can play with the different colors. We have a very wide variety over here of uh, different presets here for colors. So I can go in and select colors and change everything to whatever color I choose. So the keyboard itself is fully modifiable. And you might look at this and say, well, this is what we used to be able to do years ago when you selected the entire keyboard to sort of do one color. Obviously we're not doing that here with this wave uh, feature here, but what you can do is you can come over here and you can select different keys to be different colors. So example, if I want that one, the M to be purple, if I want the Z, the X, the C, and the V, let's change the color here to green. There we go. And it'll take a little bit of time to, to play with it for you to become comfortable and familiar. But you can see the keyboard is immediately reflected in the changes that I make within the software. And then for gaming, you have a nice preset here. And then you can go in and fully change these colors uh, as much as you want. So for example, if I said I really don't want these three keys to be red, I would rather have them. Well, you can see that I already went to orange because that's what was selected. But I'd really rather have them this nice shade of blue and they instantly change. Okay, so here's an idea. I turn the lights down there so we can see what's happening on the screen is what's happening on the keyboard. Again, in a darkened room, the lighting effect is much more impressive. Not that it's bad in the light, it's just even better in the dark. Oh, lights are on. We're back. I've got to say this is a great keyboard. I spent a lot of time with it. Uh, my gaming experience was thoroughly enjoyable. Use as a daily driver for checking out the internet, checking your email, stuff like that. Great keyboard. $150 really is not a bad price for this keyboard. It's heavy, it's robust, you've got a USB 2.0 pass through back there. Uh, you got the Romer G tactile and the Romer G linear switches. Uh, it's a subjective feeling really between the two. I could not really say that one was better than the other. I like them both, but you may have a different experience. The LEDs are bright and vivid. The ability to change uh, your gaming profiles and change uh, the keyboard itself, how the, uh, how the LEDs light up and you can disable some of them. Great feature. 
the additional keycaps, another cool feature, and this really nice soft palm rest, another nice feature. Another thing I'll say that Logitech doesn't really point out, but something that I noticed uh, after using this keyboard over time, is the way the keys are actually raised above the keyboard. They're not recessed down in there. What I like about that is you get crumbs, you get dirt, dust. It's real easy to just blow it out with this keyboard. Easy to keep it clean. So this is the Carbon G513 from Logitech. I'm Chris with Overclockers Club. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.